Now we come to the most interesting aspect of staph, mentals. So, I agree as a medicine you understand by the physicals you are looking, you can just prescribe for physical symptoms or you can just prescribe for mental symptoms. You know, it is sometimes very difficult to understand the personality of Stavisagria because it is a mixture of very different types. And also because you do not have a definite constitution in Stavisagria, sometimes there is lack of physical symptoms. So, you cannot understand a Stavisagria prescription, mental lessons, page 19, 19, not same. What happened? Mental? Oh, okay. oh. It's just something. Some part put it there. Old edition. So, sometimes difficult to understand because you do not have any uh, major physical constitutional symptoms, right? But there are a few types of Stavisagria which I will share with you. From my understanding, again, you won't find this separately mentioned anywhere, not in the handout. But if you think of a type 1 Stavisagria, this is a Stavisagria who is very soft, very shy, very gentle, very soft and shy and gentle, right? Whenever they have any emotions, whenever they have any setbacks, they do not express, they generally keep it inside, right. So, very soft, shy and gentle stavis agria. Whenever they have any emotions, they generally keep it inside, they do not express it. And this type of service agria, they have kept emotions inside for years and years and decades and decades and they have not expressed it at all. You understand what I mean? They have not expressed it at all. So, there has been a lot of suppressed emotions. And although they have the suppressed emotions, but service agria is not bitter inside. You know, many authors mention this, this also corroborate with patients as well. Although Stavis Agria has had years of retaining so much emotions, but there is no bitterness inside them. There is no negativity inside them. They are still, still soft, they are still sweet people, they are still very kind human beings. So, that is a basic nature of Stavis Agria. And you will be amazed to see that in spite of having so much grief, in spite of having any so many multiple griefs in their lives, still how can this person be so kind, so gentle, so soft spoken. That is one of the basic differences with Natmur. In Natmur, you have so much years of suppression, they have kept his grief inside for so many years, they become bitter inside. Remember the line of Kent, the entire nervous economy of Natmur is in a state of vexation, is in a state of irritability. It is not active irritability, natrium mute, but a passive irritability is always there in atmium. There is always bitterness inside natmium. But in case of Stavis Agria, although they have had years of suppression, years of grief, multiple griefs. When you take the life story, they will tell you age 25, this happened, age 34, this happened, age 43, this happened. But still, there is a lot of softness, there is a lot of kindness, there is a lot of gentleness inside them. You understand what I mean? So, suppressed emotions, but still they are soft, they are gentle and they are kind. You understand what I mean? Years of suppressed emotions or I will put here another word, multiple griefs. Stavis Agra is one of the medicines we have experienced multiple griefs in their lives like carcinosin as well. We will talk about carcinosin later on. They have experienced multiple setbacks in their lives. You are with me? So, this is, I will try and differentiate with other emotional medicines as well. Natmur, you see the difference with Natmur is here. 
Nat Mew can also have history of grief, history of disappointment, but there's always an irritation in Nat Mew. There's always a bitterness in Nat Mew, which you won't find with Stavis Agria. Right? Stavis Agria is still like a blossoming flower, also in spite of so much storm in their life, so much setbacks in their lives. They still have softness, sweetness inside them. You are with me? So that is why when you look at a mild, amiable person, it, it is not always pulsatilla, it can also be a stavis agria, right? Pulsatilla will be weepy, definitely, but stavis agria do not don't cry so much. They are mild people, they are kind, gentle people, but they do not weep so much. Whenever pulsatilla has an emotion, exciting cause, their expression is outward, crying, consolation, these two make them better, but stavis agria does not have any correlation with those two. So again, you see another point of difference with pulsatilla here as well. You understand what I mean? Both can be mild, both can be gentle, both can be amiable. But whenever there any exciting cause in terms of grief, any setbacks comes, your stavis agria doesn't express it, doesn't keeps it inside, right? Whereas your pulsatilla always expresses it in terms of crying, in terms of demanding consolation and sympathy. You are with me? Clear? So, in terms of etiology, it comes close to Natmure in terms of multiple grief, but you see the reaction of Natmure and Stavis Agri is completely different. One is bitter, one is irritable on one hand, other is kind and gentle on the other hand. In terms of nature, Pulsedilla and Stavis Agri comes close to each other, but Pulsedilla is mild, Pulsedilla is gentle, with better by crying, better by consolation. In case of Stavis Agri, you do not have that aspect. Are you with me? that is your one type of stavis agria. There is another type of stavis agria, obviously that can come with type 1, this is more like a forward moving of type 1. Sometimes you can get a staff where there is a lot of suppressed emotions. and they cannot express it, they cannot express it. Have a look in Allen's, there is a wonderful line, Allen's towards the beginning. Was insulted, was insulted, being too dignified to fight. He subdued his wrath and went home sick, trembling and exhausted. So you insulted Stavis Agria, but Stavis Agria can't tell you anything, can't give back an answer. He is not Nagswamika, he is not a nitric acid that he can shout back at you, he can revolt at you. So he was insulted. You see the line, such a beautiful line, being too dignified to fight. It is beyond his dignity, it is below his dignity to fight. What happens? You know, look at like this, Stavis Agria, he sticks it inside and go, goes home, goes back. He does not express it at all, right. He does not know how to fight. That is the unfortunate part of Stavis Agria's life. He is insulted, he, he feels it is below, below his dignity to fight. You see, was insulted, being too dignified to fight, subdued his wrath, wrath means anger, and went home sick, trembling and exhausted. You understand what I mean? I have seen patients who, you know, patients who live in UK, they tell me, my daughter comes home at 12 at night, you know, from a very conservative Islam family or Muslim family. My daughter comes home at 12 at night after partying. I know that she is not doing right, she is not following the traditions and the religion, but I do not have my mouth to say to her. I cannot tell her that this is not right. I know this is not right. I know this is not, she is not doing correct, but, but I do not have that courage or I do not have the dignity to go and shout to her. You understand? The suppressed emotions, they cannot express it. You understand what I mean? And here also in type 2, you will find another type of agria where they are affected by injustice. They are deeply affected by injustice. 
but again the same manifestation they can't express it here comes the difference with causticum causticum is another medicine remember your top two who are deeply deeply affected by injustice causticum and stavisagria we have done causticum haven't we but in case of causticum they always will fight for it you remember causticum campaigners of justice they always protest again what is not right whenever there is any revolt whenever there is any time to fight for your country for your place causticum will always do it stavis agri is similarly affected by injustice but they can't express it you humiliated me i am a stavis agri i know it is not right it is incorrect but i don't have the ability i don't it is i feel it is below my dignity to go and fight with you you with me so they can't go and fight some service agree will tell you i don't have the courage to fight some service agree will tell you it's below my dignity to fight below my dignity below my respect to go and fight fight with somebody you understand what i mean so you see this is another aspect of service agree so many times stavis agree's etiology can be a history of multiple griefs many times stavis agree's etiology can be affected by injustice but unfortunately they didn't express it they didn't show it you understand what i mean you see there is another difference with causticum affected by injustice but causticum expresses it protests for it but stavis agree doesn't at all you are with me there is another type 3 of stavis agria what is type 3 with years of history of suppressed emotions so much suppressed emotions what happens in stavis agria they have kept it inside but there is phases of expression of anger and how do they express it generally by throwing things you understand what i mean stavis agri has suppressed the emotion suppressed the anger for years right now in this suppression of anger i shared with you the type 1 was mild gentle so much they have taken in but still they are kind like a blossoming flower but there is type 3 of stavis agri who have kept emotions inside for years and years and years and years kept kept it inside sorry kept it inside for years and years but there are sometimes in stavis agri's life in phases it comes when they can become angry when they express their anger and how do they express anger they do not know how to shout i shared with you it is below their dignity to shout right what they do they generally throw things right and that is another importance of understanding stavis agri's myism stavis agri is psychotic and any psychotic medicine won't go to violence any psychotic medicine won't resort to violent aggressive behavior maximum they can do is throwing things here comes the difference with carcinosin why carcinosin in carcinosin when again carcinosin has got a history of suppressed anger suppressed grief but in carcinosin whenever they express their anger it can be violent they can be destructive breaking things damaging things shouting they can do syphilitic manifestations carcinosin is a trimiasmatic medicine so carcinosin's extent carcinosin's limit is even beyond psychosis it's syphilitic so carcinosin can become violent carcinosin can become aggressive when they expressing their anger you understand what i mean but in case of stavis agri because it is psychotic their only expression is throwing things carcinosin can shout carcinosin can be verbally abusive carcinosin can be physically aggressive both but in case of staph is only breaking things you understand you see with each type there comes a very close medicine right type 1 i shared with you an atmure can come pulsatilla can come type 2 i shared with you causticum can come before because they affected by injustice type 3 you see uh, carcinosin can come in because 
Carcinosin can also have bouts where they express their anger, but in carcinosin, remember it is trimiasmatic, so you can even get syphilitic symptoms in carcinosin. But in case of Stavisagria, it is mostly and I will say only psychotic. Yes, many times. Like you know, seeing the daughter coming home every day at 12 at night or the son is addicted to cannabis, addicted to drugs and he, she knows that he is not doing correct but sometimes, you know, maybe once a month, twice a month, she just can't take it and she just throws things. You understand what I mean? That is your type 3 service agree. Now comes type 4. What is the type 4 stavisagria? I have a good wife, good children, but still I have lot of affairs and have lot of sexual contact outside my wife, right? And what happens after having sexual intercourse, after having illicit sexual relations, stavisagria feels really guilty about it. Stavis Agria feels really ashamed about it, but every time he, he has an ir illicit or immoral sexual contact, he feels really guilty about it, he, feel he feels really ashamed about it, but he again does the same thing next month. So it is one of your topmost medicine for sexual guilt or sexual sins. There is a line in Borike, if you look in the introduction, sexual sins and excesses. Sexual sins and excesses. You are with me? Sexual sins and excesses. I have given it to so many teenagers, teenagers, you know, with depression. Why depressed? Excessive masturbation and they think it is not a right moral thing to do. It is not a right thing to do. And their service agria can help in clearing up that guilt as well. Excessive masturbation not just in teenagers, other people as well, where they think it is a guilty feeling. No other medicine has this feature of sexual guilt, sexual remorse, repentance and that is typical, typical of stavisagria. Sexual guilt, sexual remorse. They do it again and again and that is why they feel they get more depressed out of it. Sexual guilt, sexual remorse, excessive masturbation, sexual excess, ir immoral sexual contact with other women. They feel really sorry about it. They feel guilty about it. Another comes, here comes another medicine, Thuya. Thuya can also have irre, Ill, Ill, immoral sexual intercourse. But Thuja enjoys that life. See, I am enjoying it. I have different women. I, I can manage 10 women at one time. You know, the Thuja really is, thinks himself the king. But Savisagriya does it. Savisagriya feels guilty about it. Thuja never feels guilty about. Thuja endo enjoys the dual life, the duality. But Stavis Agria feels really, really guilty about it. You are with me? So, this is ailments from sexual guilt or sexual sins. Depression can come in, they can become really devastated and you can just prescribe here on the basis of etiology here. So, you see you got how many etiologies, you got history of multiple grief, you got history of injustice, right, history of being humiliated but cannot express it, right and you got an etiology of sexual guilt. You are with me? Now comes the last type of stavis agria, it is a type 5. Only 4? <laughs> this time you have 5 times. New edition. Next time you will have 6. That is why you need to come back every year. 
you have to evolve you know otherwise type 5 what is type 5 because tavisagira is so shy and mild you know they are too shy to seek partners you understand what I mean you see two contradictory features on one hand Stavisagri has hypersexuality sexual desire is high but on the other hand they are too shy and mild to co contact the opposite sex to take to speak to the opposite sex you understand what I mean two contradictory human features sexual desire is high but at the same time you are shy and mild so too shy to seek partners but they have hypersexuality what happens as a consequence of these two contradictory features a they can become depressed because they do not have any partners they have high hypersexuality b they can resort to excessive masturbation I had a patient you know we have a case taking performer and the first line he wrote addicted to porn addicted to porn addicted nothing else is no other complaint why because he said I'm too shy I cannot talk with girls I cannot interact with the opposite sex so soft so shy cannot but at the same time this so he's getting depressed and he was addicted just start there with Travis Agri he so improved his confidence so much improved his shyness so much Travis Agri can help and many times you know this type 5 and type 4 can be correlated as well they are hypersexuality, they are getting depressed, they are having masturbation and from that they develop sexual guilt. You understand what I mean? You are with me? So, see such a variety of service agria you can get. You are with me? quick recap I shared with you what was type 1 very sweet very mild very gentle very kind so much grief so much history of injustice so much history of humiliation but they do not show it or you whenever you do their case taking whenever their family tells you their son their daughters will tell you mom has had so much disappointment in her life but still why she is so mild she does not react to it why not right there is no bitterness inside remember this is the word from Vitulkas there is no bitterness inside Stavis I love that word what the bitterness what you get inside Natmu remember that word of Kent as well that entire nervous state of Natmu is in a state of vexation Natmu is always in a state of irritability could be active could be passive but Savisagra I shared with you is like a ball blossoming flower. In spite of so much storm, so much rain, there is hardly anything to deter her. Right? That's why you'll find the highest cases of divorce you'll find after giving Savisagria. Why? You give Savisagria, the woman starts expressing herself and she likes to file for a divorce. Right? So you want to be a divorce specialist? Yes. <laughs> service agria is a very good medicine so that was type 1 type 2 I shared with you what was type 2 injustice. affected by injustice right they are deeply deeply affected by injustice but they can't express it I, I had a patient I just remembered she is in her 30s mid 30s and her land was forcefully taken away from her because she resided in the city in the village her paternal and maternal uncles took away the land she said, I know it is injustice, but you know, I do not have that dignity or I feel it is below my respect to go and fight with them about that property. But I cannot sleep every night just thinking about it. I know it is so incorrect. They have not given me my due share. But I do not have that fight in me to go and speak to their face. You understand what I mean? Affected by injustice, Kostikam will go and protest for it, Stavis Agria won't but get affected by it, get affected by it, get affected by it. 
Type 3? What was type 3? Oh. Yes. They keep it inside, but many times because it is psychosis, maximum the limit of psychosis is they can go and throw things. Again, here comes the difference with causticum. Causticum, what will happen? I'm sorry. Carcinocin can be violent, can be destructive, can be breaking things. Right? Stavisagri and carcinocin both have that history of grief, both have retention of emotions, both can be very mild, very calm. Carcinocin is known as doormat carcinocin. Doormat, you know? Doormat. Because you, when you go to the room and you wash or you rub your feet on the doormat, the doormat does not say anything. Carcinocin always keeps it inside, does not express at all. But when carcinocin expresses, you understand the cancer. When it metastasis, it kills you, right? Similarly, carcinocin, when it expresses, there is syphilitic reaction. They can be psychotic, they can be syphilitic, they can be tubercular reaction. Shouting, breaking things, damaging things, these can happen in carcinocin. But stavisagria, because it is mostly psychotic, its realm, its limit, it's always maximum, can, they can throw things. They can shout as well, maximum but not breaking, not damaging things, not abusing. Stavis Agri won't do that. Right? Type 4 I shared with you, ailments from sexual guilt, sexual sins, no other has it, no medicine has it. Sexual repentance. So many teenagers, so many young people, they resort to masturbation, they resort to sexual excess, then they feel guilty about it. I had a patient, every time he had a se intercourse with a prostitute, he used to go to the temple the next day to pray. You understand? Sexual guilt. Every day he used to go to the temple, next day, after the intercourse. And type 5, I shared with you two contradicting features in one human being. You have hypersexuality on one hand and you are very shy, very mild on the other hand, you are too shy to seek partners. Many, many times you also see because they are so shy to seek partners, your service agreement resorts to homosexuality because they are too shy to talk to the opposite sex. You know, many times you will find service agreement to be very feminine, you know, talking in a female voice, very female like features and they are too shy to seek or talk to the opposite sex, they can resort to the same sex as well. Could be masturbation, could be homosexuality as well, sometimes out of that nature. You understand what I mean? Right? So, too shy on one hand, that shyness and hypersexuality can make them depressed, or it can they resort to excessive masturbation. And after that, again, you see type 4 comes in, they can become, they feel more guilty, they feel more depressed. The depression, remember for staff, is more out of the guilty feeling. Morally, they feel I am morally doing wrong. It is not a correct thing to do. Right? So, the depression is more due to that moral feeling of guilt in staff. You understand what I mean? Physical, sexual weakness can develop. But I shared with you, difference with phosphoric acid, memory concentration is absolutely fine. You see the line here is abashed, somewhere I shared with you, abashed means very, very embarrassed, very guilty. Right? They feel really guilty about it. Remorse is another word. That means repenting that thing. You with me? You see, I shared with you five times, but many times they can be overlapping. You know, you can't always expect it is not mathematics that it will be 2 plus 2 is 4, 2 plus 2 is never 4 in homeopathy, right. So, it can be overlapping of features as well in cyclia. But remember the medicines to compare, natromure can come in, pulsedila can come in, causticum can come in, uh, what was the other one, carcinocin can come in. So, you see 4 big medicines can come in. Many times you can follow it up with cyclia as well. You gave a pulsedila, many times cyclia picture can come in. You gave an atmure patient becomes more milder, more calmer, you can go to stavis agria. You gave stavis agria, later on patient becomes violent maybe, go to carcinocin. 
right? He starts expressing his anger and unfortunately he is expressing in syphilitic form, go to carcinosin. He was earlier affected by, not affected by injustice, now he is affected by injustice, he is expressing it, go to causticum. So, you know, the medicines which I compared definitely can be follow up medicines or preceding medicines. You are with me? Yes. 